Good afternoon. Today I am here to tell you about quite possibly the most frustrating problem that has come to me uh, as far as repairs go ever. Sometimes your friend brings you five lamps to put new cords on for $200 and sometimes your good buddy brings you a Korg Poly 6 which has gone bad to a due to a leaky NICAD battery. This is the uh, this is the original board. These things are notorious for uh, going bad, the batteries on these, and they're, they're used in a lot of um, hybrid digital analog keyboards. In the memory department, they have these old NICAD batteries, and after 10 or so years, they start going bad, especially if they're not getting used, they begin to leak. And see if we can get it focused here. They deteriorate all these traces, cause this chip to go bad. The board number is a KLM 36A or something. We'll see when I open it up and look at the new one. Um, but I spent many, many hours firstly replacing this battery repairing traces meticulously, repairing these traces that go all under the board and all over the place. But the voltages in these things are so specific that even if you think you've repaired a trace, if there is a greater amount of resistance uh, in that trace line, then it wants to see it's going to screw things up and it's not going to work, which is exactly what happened. So I recommend to you, before you... Uh, waste a bunch of time. If you have a Korg Poly 6 on your bench and you want to get back up and running, put in, you can order a clone board. I'm going to put a link to the company name and their website in the description of this video. I've escaped my mind. It's been so long. It took a month and a half for the board to get here, but I'll put a link for, for where you can find it. It's about 200 euros or 100 and 175 euro or whatever that is in dollars. Um, and I would have done it in a heartbeat had I known that it would be so easy. And all it really involves, the only thing that you got to take from the old board is this, this chip. Because that is not gettable anymore. But it's, it's a socket chip, so you pull it from the old board. They send it to you with these pin connectors... I don't want to be fussing with this too much, but they send you the board, the clone board, with all the pin mails in there. You just got to disconnect it from the old one, reconnect these cables, they, it comes with a battery, uh, and bing, bam, boom, you're back up in business. And um, like I said, I spent many, many late frustrating nights trying to repair a board that just didn't want to be repaired and in older stuff that'll work but in this weird zone of encroaching digital sense uh the, the, the voltages get so finicky in particular that sometimes your best bet is to just replace the board and hurrah hurrah for this company they make a clone board specifically for this synth and they do it for this very reason. So, take it from me. And do yourself a favor. Okay, bye-bye.